Is anyone in this theater with us? Can you touch one of these devices? You're trying to get our attention. Can you light that up again one more time? Thank you. My name is Vincent Carbone. I'm an alumni of SUNY Brockport, class of 2010. I'm also a paranormal investigator, and tonight I'm going to be investigating here at Hartwell Hall. Okay, so we're gonna get started in, right here in Hartwell Dance Theater. Um, we have some equipment laid out just to go through what we have. Right here we have what's called a, just a very simply a vibration detector. It's a little ball that if it gets poked, pushed, moved in any way, it lights up like that. Right over here, we have what's called a REM pod. This detects static electricity. So as my hand gets closer, look right over there. Let's see if that happens again. We'll keep an eye on that. But right over here, we have the REM pod. So as my hand gets closer to the antenna, okay, it detects it, all right? It's very rare that this goes off. It takes a lot of effort to make that go off. It's basically paranormal fishing. You just set up your equipment and you see what you get. You're trying to get a base reading for that location. You're seeing if any of the naturally occurring elements or equipment sets off anything, okay? You got a vibration detector right over there, again. Is someone upstage? Okay. Can you touch another device so I know someone is here? Can you touch this green light right over here? It's not gonna hurt you in any way. I'm trying to get our attention. Can you light that up again one more time? Thank you. So it's pretty interesting that that one over upstage was, was lighting up so much because for one, it stopped. Okay, so if the device was malfunctioning, it would probably keep going. But also, to show you how much effort it takes to actually make this go off, okay, so I actually had to touch it. Um, when it does get touched, it will light up for about 20 to 30 seconds and then it stops. But also, so that's pretty significant and nothing's happened. Right there. Can you touch that again? Thank you. Can you touch one of these gray devices so they light up? Or maybe can you make a sound? What I'd like to do is try a motion sensor light and also an EVP session. EVP stands electronic voice phenomena. And that's basically any voice or sound that you pick up on a digital recording that you did not hear in real time. Okay, I want to cut the lights out. Hartwell Hall, Dance Studio 64, EVP session. Is there anyone in this room with me? How many people are in this room? Can, Can you tell, tell me your name? Can you tell me what year it is? Nothing. Okay, I'm... Someone over there? Okay. Can you touch that ball again, please? Thank you. Okay. Can someone touch that again? Trying to let us know that you're here. Someone in, in this lobby? K2 hit. K2 hit over here. 
How about that light in the middle? Can you touch that? What we just saw might have been something touching that antenna right there, which would detect static electricity. Um, I also do have these two EMF detectors on either side um, have some slight fluctuation. Uh, again, that's not necessarily paranormal. It just, it just says that there's EMF right there. So you got marble, you've got wood. I don't know if there's anything running in that, in that column right there. Um, but it's interesting that it's not happening on this side too. So to wrap up, I relate this to naturally occurring elements uh, and, and activities such as thunderstorms and blizzards. Meaning if I was to tell you 20 years ago, there was this massive blizzard and it shut down the entire campus. And, um, you know, and I told you that's during the middle of August and you run outside expecting to see a blizzard. It's kind of like the same thing with paranormal claims. Uh, they have to be in the right, the elements have to be just right in the moment to present itself. And so to come on a two hour, three hour investigation of a location, expecting to have the same experiences as the staff or, you know, people who live at that location, it's not, it's not realistic. Um, so that's why we go back a few times to see if we can try to recreate or capture something uh, after a few times. Well, we're all done with our investigation of Hartwell Hall. In total, we investigated four different locations and we seem to get different reactions in each location. That just means that I might have to come back here in the future and see what we get to follow up.